I'm Dr. J. Craig Venter. I'm the uh, founder and chairman at Human Longevity. In 1965, I got drafted. In Vietnam, I was practicing medicine as a corpsman. I was even doing major surgery. I was the doctor for a small village and an orphanage, and I really loved what I was doing. So my plan was to go to medical school. But when I switched from a community college to UC San Diego, I figured the, you can change far more things with new ideas than seeing 100 patients a day. I got my PhD in 1975. When you're starting out as an assistant professor, you have to get your own funds to really do research. And so getting an initial grant from the pharma uh, group made, uh, uh, made a huge start in my research career. It's very difficult for new scientists now to get grants and get going. Foundations like the Pharma Foundation give people a start with their career. Back when I got my pharma grant, the first human gene had not yet been discovered or sequenced. Uh, and it became a big deal. They were the currency in science that if you discovered sequenced a gene and found out what it did, that quite often led to a new pharmaceutical target, that led to massive research funding, sometimes Nobel Prizes. I started a research institute called the J. Craig Hunter Institute. It's in its 25th year. And in 1995, we sequenced the very first genome found in history. Uh, it was a small bacteria. And then uh, the technique we developed five years later led to sequencing the human genome. Providing the first human genome uh, provided the world with the first list of all the human genes. And every pharmaceutical company in the world started using those for new targets for drug discoveries. So we're making major discoveries every day, and that's how we'd like to see medicine go, of people having their diseases discovered before they manifest themselves, because uh, that makes them very amenable to early treatment and getting rid of them. All the breakthroughs that I'm associated with of the first genome, the first human genome, the first synthetic cell, the first experiments on the microbiome, all that came and we were able to do them because we had some independent sources of money to do the experiments.